Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. I am Gary Reba. Last time I showed you the basics of build craft, I believe set in the past. In the because I recorded it back on my old world before the update video, but this is something from the new update, Mistcraft. It is perhaps my favourite mod ever, now that I've tried it. So, first of all, there are a few things in Mistcraft, and it all comes down to these books. So first of all, you need to build one of these, a writing desk. And for this, you need five wood, it can be any wood, a feather, and an ink sack. And you lay them out like this, and it creates a writing desk. I won't make one because I've already got one. And it looks like this. You place them like a bed, so to fit it there I had to go here, jump and place. And it has this interface. So for this, for this mod, you can make three kinds of book. Descriptive books, linking books, and notebooks. And notebooks are made with nine pieces of paper laid out like that. And a notebook can't be used on its own, it can only be used in conjunction with the writing desk. And you place it in the left and it shows you all the symbols that you've got from descriptive books. Descriptive books are made by placing a pre-made book and a feather. Descriptive books are doorways into other ages, which are effectively other worlds contained within your one. But it is a one-way passage. The book is dropped or left on a book stand, if you have one, and there's absolutely no way to get back unless you're very lucky and there's a natural way back. Otherwise you need one of these, a linking book. And you right click with the books to open them, but a linking book, you just take a book and it just becomes a linking book. So you can make them wherever you have a book, but you should only ever make them at home or somewhere that you want to use as your base, which I suggest is the overworld. When you create a new descriptive book, it has nothing in it. I mean, I've made a few world, uh, a few ages, as you can see here. There's the void, black ocean, endless forest, and I've put them on here next to the notepad, the notebook, and it has saved all of the icons. For example, I have used this one before, and this contains huge biomes. So the biomes are four times the size of ordinary ones. Extreme Hills Edge, which means the very edge of mountains. A beach speaks for itself, jungle, blue fog, it's bright, the weather is eternal, so it's constantly snowing or raining, time goes faster so the day-night cycle goes faster, and it's a cave world, which means that there is another world on top of, uh, another layer on top of the layer that you spawn in, so you can spend the entire time underground. and. If you have an empty book, such as this one, you can write it yourself. So, if I want a mushroom island shore along with a beach, I'll put those in. Huge biomes. I want it to be bright. I want a star fisher. I want normal time. And I'll leave weather as it is. So then you take that back off. And now that will forever have these. There can be issues. So first of all, we'll just see what the one I created is like. So you click on the panel, like in the game Mist, and it spawns you in that world. Snow in what appears to be a desert. As far as the eye can see. And over here is a starfisher. A starfisher 
it's a hole out the bottom of the world, and so you can see it on the mini-map. That's just transparent. Uh, this world is not perfect, it is flawed, which creates something called decay. And decay is the bane of all life. You create a world, and as you can see it's flat as anything. And according to the minimap, this goes on for quite some distance. But decay happens. Decay is the world collapsing, because the age collapsing because it hasn't been written properly. Almost all of your worlds that you make, at least early on, are going to decay. And because of the star the presence of the starfisher, I don't need to worry about getting back safely because the starfisher if I jump in here, you fall, and then you spawn back in the overworld. Decay in itself is a disastrous thing. This is the first one I made. I've called it the Endless Forest because it, it does seem to be an endless forest. See, here's a, a linking book I've placed so that I can always get back. But this is a decay test. My worry is that if my linking book falls into the decay, I will not be able to get back. I happen to have a linking book, but on the off chance that I don't, I need this to be alright. So decay has happened fairly strongly here. Decay is a block, it's actually a block, and it's what it does is it infects other blocks below it or next to it. So, see, these just fell. And it spreads, and it can spread over any type of block. And what it does is it spreads and drops. So, if it spreads to bedrock, as it has over here, it will drop the blocks, see, all the way down to bedrock and out the bottom into the void. It will drop blocks out of the bottom of the map, and the result is that the entire world will eventually fall into the void. And there is pretty much by the by the time it, it's got so so far flung, it is damn near impossible to stop. So look at that. Decay over there, 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 even decay there, and over that. This is a very unstable world, but it means that this world has a limited time left, and unfortunately it's decaying around my spawn point, so it makes it harder and harder to get out there and harvest the resources without fear of being able to get back. Things decaying there as well. And the test for decay, if it's not as obvious as that, is to place blocks um, on a, a large flat surface like this, so you know it's flat. It's definitely flat because you made it flat. And it needs to go all the way down so that it completely touches the ground and levels it. And now, the, these deca this decay will eventually connect with that decay and it'll spread this way. So when I start seeing the wood falling into the void, or lowering at all, I will know that it is time to abandon the world because it is too dangerous because although a starfisher will teleport you back, if you fall into the void, that will kill you, and you'll respawn back on this world. So without a linking book, you can die forever. But that is the the basics of decay. See there, it's, it's pulling the cliff down into the decay here. And the more world, the more ages you write, the more symbols you'll gain, so you can 
write more stable worlds, and it, it's a very complicated process writing a stable world. I think that pretty much covers the basics of Mistcraft. It is a fascinating mod. I'm I'm absolutely in love with it. There are strange peculiarities that that you can get. So, for example, the Black Ocean is I spawn on a obsidian obelisk that goes by the looks of it all the way down to bedrock and all the way up. There is another one over there, but that's oh, got a spider on top. However, it is permanent night here. It's always dark, and it's always raining, so I really have no way of finding my way out. But luckily, there is a starfisher here. And believe me, that's a terrifying thing, falling into a starfisher. But all you need is one natural one and then you can start writing them into your worlds and they're always near the spawn you don't get starfishes appearing far from the spawn so you never have to go looking for them if there is one on your world it'll be right there but you can get some very strange ones for for example this one is one chunk of snow in the void that is all there is as far as I can see there is absolutely nothing else in that in that age. So that is the basics of Mistcraft. Feel free to play about with it. Make sure you've always got a linking book to the overworld, so make them on the overworld. If you make a linking book while on an age, you'll only be able to link back to that age using that book. And as far as I know, you can't recreate an age book, a descriptive book, of an age you've already made. You can only make a new one. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and favourite and all of that. Bye bye.